the, the, the stuff I have to say about um, Al-Qaeda and justice from Nuremberg to t Guantanamo is not much fun, to tell you the truth. There aren't many jokes in Al-Qaeda. So I just thought I'd just read you a couple of things from the Queen Mother to start with, which is a lot more amusing. Um, in, in she, she loved Australia and came here many times. And her, on her first visit, she came here in 1927 when her husband Bertie was opening the um, new federal parliament in Canberra. And um, where, what page was this? And for those of you who saw the King's speech, it was just before they came on this trip to uh, Australia in 1927 that the Duchess of York, as she then was, found Lionel Logue to help her, her husband, the Duke, overcome his terrible stammer. And Lionel Logue, as the, as the King's speech I showed, was a wonderful help to the Duke. And uh, this film is fairly accurate, I think. Anyhow, he came, and she came with him on that trip in 1927, and she loved um, uh, Australia ever since. And she wrote to her mother-in-law, Queen Mary, in April 1927, saying after a trip, um, halfway through their trip, uh, and she, she wrote of their visit to Sydney, politics, Mama, are very bad in New South Wales. <laughs> the Premier is cordially loathed by all classes. <laughs> this Gerard reminds me is, was Jack Lang. <laughs> he never appeared except when we landed, and I expect he will very soon be thrown out, which Gerard assures me was indeed the case. Most of the ministers are disgruntled Englishmen with a grievance, <laughs> and none of the better class of Australian will touch politics. It's, it seems... <laughs> It seems a great pity, but perhaps a sense of responsibility will grow in time. <laughs> we had a de most delightful time in Queensland with wonderful weather. The people were so nice and friendly, even though they are called the Bolshe State. <laughs> anyway, in 1958, she went back to Queensland and elsewhere in Australia. And she wrote to Princess Margaret in 1958. This was just three years after Princess Margaret had broken off her unhappy relationship with Peter, Peter Townsend. And she said, I've been staying, darling, on a sheep station called Kuchin Kuchin with three glorious maiden ladies called the Miss Bells. They were heaven, rather overexcited and never drew breath. And they, and they had some very, very beautiful nephews. <laughs> all called Bill. <laughs> the real country Australian is really a knockout. He is very tall with long legs encased in tight trousers. <laughs> Blue eyes, a drawl and a Stetson. They are too charming for words and an American cowboy is a mere nothing compared with them. <laughs> Anyway, you can see why I enjoyed compiling her letters. She wrote like that all through her life with a sense of joie de vivre and optimism, which was uh, um, uh, just marvelous, I think.